Now's the chance to vote for your January Ride of the Month in association with Coral. Vote A for Michal Nolan's ultra-patient effort on Encore at Plumpton. Nolan kept his mount at the back of the pack for most of the race. Encore still travelling OK in the hands of Michal Nolan. Maybe he thinks they've gone off too quick, he may be right. Four out, it looked like the pair had a mountain to climb. But Nolan was spot on with the timing of his run. Encore is getting much closer from the rear, going up into third now and a very patient ride. Expertly seeing off his rivals to come home a comfortable winner. This is a terrific ride. Encore is safely over. He must have been 20 lengths behind with three fences to jump. Michal Nolan, he thought they'd gone too quickly and he was darn right. Encore goes on to win. Vote B for Sean Bowen's persevering ride on Best Triton at Foss Lass. With his mount seemingly not travelling, Bowen gave Best Triton a shake-up as they embarked on the final circuit. It's beginning to become hard work for both Shut the Gate and Best Trition to keep in contact with the leaders. While the leader looked comfortable out in front, Bowen was hard at work, pushing his ride to the front of the group. Dentley de May and shut the gate, land up sides with best trition a couple of lengths away in third. It was a two-horse race at two out, with Dentley Demay looking the more likely. Dentley Demay in command, four lengths clear of best trition, who's not going down without a fight. But Bowen grinded down his rival to get up in the final strides. Into the final 100 yards and best trition is coming through on the inside of Dentley DeMay. Hit the line together. Might be one of the rides of the season if Sean Bowen's pulled that off on best trition. Vote C for Richard Patrick's remarkable John Wayne style victory on face a K. Voudrar at Hereford. The duo sat comfortably in midfield for the two mile mare's novices hurdle. With the pair in contention at the final flight, a blunder from Faye Sarke Voudra saw Patrick almost unseated. Faye Sarke Voudra put down on it, kicked it half to the ground. But Patrick managed to keep his balance without irons and fought on to win in extraordinary style. Patrick manages to galvanise the mare. She's coming back up, so she's responding. What a ride this is. It's all a bit John Wayne late on, but what a rodeo act. Though D for Billy Lockname's excellent ride on Sapphire Seas at Wolverhampton. The 16-year-old rider was in fine form and didn't disappoint on his first ride in Godolphin Blue. It was another Godolphin fully Mountain Song who was out in front in the closing stages. Mountain Song is set for the line now. Moves down the straight, leading by two. The lock name delivered Sapphire Seas to perfection, taking the spoils on a day the jockey described as the best of his life. Mountain Song is in front. Sapphire Seas in second position. The white cap is coming through. And as they hit the line, the judge will tell you it's very tight. Vote for John Reddington's extraordinary effort on Jack Hyde at Newcastle. Jack Hyde shot to an early lead and was soon 10 lengths clear. So here they come past the stands for the first time, and Jack Hyde is taking quite a hold. There was no slowing up as horse and rider went even further clear. Look at this lead that Jack Hyde has got. It must be 30 lengths. And astonishingly, even further. This is incredible. I've never seen a horse so far clear. He must be 50 lengths clear. With two furlongs to go, the gap in behind started to close. Now he's getting very tired out there. He's running out of puff and the others are beginning to close the gap. But there was enough left in the tank for Jack Hyde to get the job done in style. This is a marvellous win. A great ride by the owner and jockey, Mr John Reddington. And Jack Hyde is going to win the opener very impressively indeed. Well done to him. That was some ride. Simply visit attheracescom slash ride to cast your vote and be in with a chance of winning a £100 funded betting account courtesy of Coral. Voting closes at 11pm on Thursday the 9th of February.